Hello dear children, welcome you all back to science class. In today's class, we are going to begin with the 10th chapter, Sound and Noise. In our daily life, we hear a large number of sounds around us. Isn't it? Yes, and some sounds make us feel happy and relaxed, whereas some sounds are not liked by all of us. Now look into this picture here. My, now by looking into these pictures, can you think of the sounds that are made by each of these objects? Different objects make different sounds. Every day we listen in our home the sounds of objects like a clock, a fan, refrigerator, washing machine, a pressure cooker, a bell ringing at the door, sound of a piano and sound of some other musical instruments like flute. So we know that some of these objects, they produce very loud sounds. We can hear these sounds from some distance also. But there are some other objects, like a clock. We may not hear these sounds unless we are too close to these objects. For example, when the second hand of a clock moves, we hear the soft tick-tock sound. We know that when pressure cooker whistles, it gives us a whistling sound. Now, if there is someone at the door of your house ringing the bell, you hear a loud musical sound, isn't it? Yes, and that tells us that someone is at the door. Now, when steam comes out of a kettle, that also produces a sound. But that is a low hissing sound. For example, playing of a piano and flute, that also produces a sound, like a soft musical sound. So these are different objects that produce very loud sounds while some other objects produce too low sounds. And we will be able to hear these sounds only when we are close to these objects. So now we have learned about sounds which are made by different common objects around us. Now let's have a look at sound produced by living beings around us. We know that living beings also make different kinds of sounds, isn't it? Yes, for example, we make sound by speaking to each other. Sometimes we shout loudly to someone that time also we hear a sound coming out. We make sound by clapping hands together, by whistling, by singing songs and even on coughing or sneezing. So these are different sounds which are produced by we human beings. Now we know that animals also make different kinds of sounds. Now we recognize an animal especially by its sound, isn't it? Yes, now look into this table here. Here we have animals producing different sounds. For example, sound produced by lion is a roaring sound. So we say that lion roars. In the same way, a monkey chatters. But a wolf it's a howling sound and a parrot makes a screeching sound while we know that a dog barks. Now in case of an elephant, we know that an elephant trumpets which means it gives a sound and we call that sound as a trumpet. Now what about a frog? A frog gives a croaking sound while a hair gives a squeaking sound. We know that a snake, it gives a hissing sound, while sparrow or some other birds, it gives a chirping sound. 
So these are different sounds which are produced by different animals around us. Now, do you know why do these animals produce different sounds? Yes, animals use these sounds to tell about the location of food and also about possible danger to their other group members. That is why all these animals make sound. So they tell about their location of food and also they tell about possible danger and they communicate it to other members of the group by making these sounds. Now we have learned about sound made by animals and also sound made by some other living beings. Now do you think trees and leaves also produce sound? Yes, trees and leaves also produce sounds. For example, on a windy day we hear rustling of tree leaves. That is, when dry tree leaves move, we hear a sound and we call that sound as rustling sound. Or when we walk on dry fallen leaves, that is leaves that have fallen down and when we walk on that, we hear a sound, isn't it? Have you ever noted that? Yes, so that sound that is made by dry leaves when we or anyone walks on that is known as a crackling sound. Now, let's have a look at pleasant and unpleasant sounds. There are some sounds which makes us happy and relaxed. While there are some other sounds which makes us feel uncomfortable and irritated. So now let us see what is meant by pleasant sound and unpleasant sound. The sound that makes us happy and relaxed is known as pleasant sound. Now can you think of some of the examples of sounds that make you happy and relaxed? Some of the examples are chirping of birds, sound of a gentle rainfall, rustling of leaves in a breeze, that is in a soft wind, leaves of trees moving, and also sound of musical instruments like sitar, flute, piano, and many other instruments like harmonium. All these will make us happy and relaxed. So just opposite to pleasant sounds, sounds that make us feel uncomfortable and irritated is known as unpleasant sound. So can you think of some of the sounds that make you feel uncomfortable and irritated? Some of those sounds are screaming of people, honking of vehicles, Sound that is produced by aeroplanes while they take off and also while they land. It would be a huge sound and that makes us feel uncomfortable and also irritated. Also, sounds produced by generators and factories. And also, sounds like loud music and also sound produced by loudspeakers will also make us feel uncomfortable and irritated. So these are examples of some unpleasant sounds. Now, have you ever heard of any warning sounds? There are some sounds like in the case of a sound produced by ambulance, fire engines or police vehicles that warns us and it also gives us a loud sound, isn't it? Yes, such sounds are warning sounds. So warning sounds are loud sounds which are used to warn people about an emergency or of any possible danger. So whenever you hear a warning sound, remember that it, it is the sound that warns everyone around about an emergency or a possible danger. There are different kinds of warning sounds. 
Now let's have a look at each of them. First one is ambulance siren. I am sure that all of you would have listened to an ambulance siren, isn't it? Yes, and we also know that the siren of an ambulance, it makes a very loud sound. But why do you think this ambulance siren gives such a loud sound? Now, ambulance sirens are used especially when the ambulance is on the way to hospital or to pick up a person who is in an emergency situation. The siren also tells people to allow the ambulance to pass first so that the medical help can be given to that patient. Now ambulance will give a siren and it will warn people especially when they are carrying patients inside the ambulance. And this gives a loud sound so that all the other vehicles will move aside in such a way that it will give way for ambulance to move faster. The next type of warning sounds are produced by police vehicles. Now, have you ever heard of police sirens? Yes, police sirens are very loud and they produce loud sounds so that it warns people of an emergency or of a danger. The next type of warning sound is produced by fire alarms. So whenever we hear a fire alarm, we know that it gives us a warning about fire in the building and it tells us that we all have to leave that place immediately. Now, have you ever seen such alarms that are fitted on buildings? Yes, so such fire alarms, it gives us a loud sound and it warns people about fire in the building. Now, other than fire alarm, the next type of warning sound, it is produced by fire engines. Now, I'm sure that all of you would have heard sound produced by fire engines. Yes, the siren gives us a loud sound and it gives the information to other vehicles on road that they have to give way so that the fire engine can move faster. Now, only if they move faster, fire engine can reach the destination earlier and they can control the fire. So, fire engine siren is also loud and it will give a warning to people or other vehicles on the road that they have to give way for the fire engines to pass so that they can move faster. <music> 